Hey guys, Jessica here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be giving a makeover to these dressers. So I found these dressers listed on Facebook Marketplace. They had been listed for a little while and I kept going back and looking at them. And then I finally decided to take the plunge and buy them. So I was able to get them for $50. So I was really drawn to the shape and the design of these dressers and I loved the mid-century modern look that these have and I just couldn't wait to give them a much needed makeover. So to start things off, I gave the dressers a really good cleaning using soapy water. Then I removed all of the drawers. My plan is to sand off the finish that are on the drawer fronts and to stain them a really nice wood color. I already made back some of my investment. I removed all of the hardware on the drawers and then I grabbed my hand orbital sander and I started off using a 220 grit of sandpaper. Okay, so now that I have sanded this away, you can see that this is a veneer that's on top and it's very thin. A veneer is just a slice of wood that has been cut down very thin and put over another piece of wood or some other sort of material. So you can see right here, there's this little line. This is the veneer. It is very, very thin and it's on top of this solid wood right here. So when I'm sanding, I wanna be very careful because if I go through this veneer, I am going to be to this wood and it's gonna be hard to fix. So I'm using a very high grit sandpaper so that I don't uh, do anything too harsh to damage the veneer. As I said, I didn't wanna damage the veneer and I was afraid that if I used a higher grit of sandpaper that it could possibly damage it. But with the 220 grit of sandpaper, it was just taking me way too long to sand off the finish. So I decided to try an 80 grit sandpaper and I was very careful with it and I didn't press down very hard and I was able to sand off the finish. And then after I got the majority of the finish off, I swapped out for a 220 grit sandpaper and then finished sanding off the rest of the finish. Now that I got all the finish off that veneer, I am going to be staining it using this early American wood stain. Using a rag, I wiped on the stain and then wiped away any excess. I did apply two coats of the stain to get the desired look that I was going for. Now for the dressers, they have a few places that the veneer is chipped, so I'm using this plastic wood, wood filler to fill in the areas, and then I'm just using a spatula to form the putty to where it is nice and level. After it dried, I came back with some sandpaper and sanded it down nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take an 80 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to use my hand and hand sand just to scuff up this piece a little bit before I prime it. For primer, I am using Zinsser primer. And this is an oil-based primer. I'm using a foam roller to apply the primer on the entire piece of the dresser.
So for the paints, I decided on Rust-Oleum chalk paints in the color charcoal. This paint has really good coverage, although I will say that its color consistency is not the best. I don't know if I just didn't stir it up well, although I feel like I stirred it well, but for some reason it just had a lot of streakiness and inconsistency in the coloring. This paint is also really thick and a little difficult to apply as it dries very quickly. So now that I have the first coat of paint on, I am going to come back with a 220 grit of sandpaper and just smooth everything out really nice before I put the second coat of paint on. Now I'm gonna come back with a rag, wipe off all the dust. To seal the paint, I am using a water-based polyurethane in crystal clear matte finish. I applied three coats of the sealer to the dressers. Some of the drawers had this little gold metal piece on the base of the dresser drawer and I couldn't sand it all the way down with my hand sander. Um, so I grabbed some painter's tape and I am just going to be painting a strip on the bottom part of the drawers. Using the same sealer, I applied a couple coats of the sealer to the drawer fronts. For the finishing touches, I am going to be lining the drawers using this liner that I bought off of Amazon. I will be sure to link the one that I used down in the description box below. Lastly, I'm going to be freshening up the hardware with a new coat of paint. After giving all of the knobs a very good cleaning, I am going to be spray painting them using this metallic gold spray paint. And after applying a couple coats of the paint, I am going to come back with a matte clear enamel spray to help protect the new paint. So just a quick reminder of what these dressers used to look like and here they are now and I am in absolute love with this transformation. These were really ugly dressers before and now they are simply stunning and I know that someone will definitely love these for many years to come. Let's talk 
numbers real quick. I paid $50 for the both of the dressers, and I figured with the paint, primer, and sealer, I have about $10 in that. And for the drawer liners, I paid somewhere between $7. I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but it was about $6 or $7. Got those on Amazon. And I will be sure to link all the products I use down in the description box below if you are interested in checking them out. That is a total of $67 all in cost in redoing these. I hope to sell them for $300. I may list them a little bit higher just to see if I can get a little bit more just to test out my market. But if I do sell them for $300, that is a total net profit of $233. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not already a subscriber to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in a later video. Bye.